Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is stage three coming up here, Red Mountain. You remember that big, big first area that I uh, went around with Sonic? That is the same area that I'll be exploring. Emeralds are sometimes underground this time though. Oh no, so I have to dig for them wherever there's, uh, you know, wherever uh, I, I might have to dig for them. You know, they could actually be in walls as well as um, the ground. So uh, make sure that you climb everywhere that you can climb to just to be sure, you know, like climb around this. Oh, I'm getting close. I see. Oh, I got the emerald. It was down here. Whee! Okay, that's the first emerald, I guess. So at least the first emerald on my particular run to the stage. As I said before, they change depending on, uh, 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 I mean, they differ depending on, well, they don't really, ah, uh, well, what am I saying here? They change, uh, depe ah, remember how to talk, PK Gam. They change every time you play the stage. Thank you. Ah, what's wrong with me? Anyway, oh yeah, that, those things break apart. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, climb up here, man. I, and my commentary was just like poop right there. I just couldn't know, couldn't say anything there. Maybe I'm just getting caught up in my own words or something like that. There is a bubble that I could use, a little light ball, light ball of awesomeness. Where am I going? This way, huh? I'll follow you. I'll follow you wherever you go. And wait, where is this thing? Yeah, that's all the emeralds in 1 minute 27 seconds. Woohoo! Those little light bubbles are pretty dang helpful. I do recommend that you use them. And I'm just getting blown up all over the place by that monkey. Stop blowing me up or I'm going to get the monkey destruction switch. Ugh. And back to the Mystic Ruins, I'm sure. I probably have to face Sonic... No, wait, I don't have to face Sonic and Tails, do I? No, I don't think I do just yet. Wait, do I have to go... I'm just rem trying to remember here. Because I'm pretty sure I have to go back to the uh, Angel Island eventually. I don't think it's yet, though. Uh, what the heck did I just get stuck on there? I have no idea. Uh, I'm just getting those silly invisible walls, you know. Like this one right here above the Master Emerald. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Well, anyway, I'm just going to glide back on over to solid ground. I, I thought there was something... Well, I know there's an event over there eventually, so I will be back there later. Anyway, back up through here, this little opening in the wall. You know, uh, past I Ice Cap Zone and back to the main area of Mystic Ruins. Uh, there's this very, very windy patch of ground here. I don't know where the wind is coming from. It appears to be coming from underground. Anyway, let's see where I have to go next. Wait, where is the light? So that light bubble wasn't here all the time? What the poop? So maybe I didn't miss it those other times. There just wasn't a light bulb here. Or a light bulb ball there. Huh. Anyway, Sonic is over here. So I do have to face Sonic. Yay, my memory isn't that bad for this game. There's Sonic. He does have some emeralds. Actually, it kind of doesn't from this angle. But you could ask him for it back nicely. Hey, how's it going? Hey, violence is not the answer. There was just no need for that whatsoever. There's, there's just no need for that. You should have said Master Emerald Pieces. Well, anyway, you got to beat Sonic. He's harder than Knuckles, uh, for, for sure. Um, just, but... Oops. Did I just, did I just die on him? Oh, I forgot to get a ring. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Anyway, glide into him, basically. And, uh, land on him with your, uh... Like, when you come out of your, uh... Um, glide there, you can land on him with that spin attack thing, like, like so. And, uh, yeah, that's basically how you hit him. He gets a lot more aggressive there, and, uh, but it still doesn't really matter. He's still pretty easy. Um, unless you kind of, like, mess up like I did right at the beginning there. Uh, oh, no, the chaos, Oh, no, the chaos! What, chaos? Oh, no, the, oh, you idiot knuckles! You should have been a nice boy and asked him, oh, it's too late. 
goes to it. You guys are too easy. You little trickster. That's a chaos emerald. What did you think it was? You need to get some contacts, Knuckles. I could tell they were chaos emeralds from a mile away. You can't get away with this. Knuckles, did you let him trick you again? Yep. Like you weren't. Smooth move, Knucklehead. What do you mean, like you weren't? Sonic wasn't tricked. You just started attacking him. Here, chaos. Come on, boy. Heel. Come on. Come on. Come on, the girl. Come on. There you go. Come on. Here's a little treat for you if you destroy the echidna. Must destroy echidna. Oh, boopers. No problem. It's Chaos 4. This is going to be the third time that I face this boss. Yeah. Third time. So, how's it going there? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, how do you commentate on the same boss three times? I don't know. But you gotta admit, like, when you see, like, the, the lily pads disappear from, uh, from above the surface and they go under, like when he splashes them under the surface like that, watch how they disappear. They like go inside the ground, like way at the seabed there, or the lake bed there. How the heck do they do that? And then they just float right back up over it? You would think that they wouldn't be able to do that. I mean, lily, those lily pads are pretty dang big, and they float pretty well. I mean, they, they hold a whole echidna, a hedgehog, and a fox, for Christ's sake. So what the heck, and these lily pads are not working for me very well. <laughs> I'm just getting stuck on them all over the place. And see, did you see that, uh, that, that this lily pad right here, that one that's floating back up? Yeah, it, it just like goes underneath that LJ stuff at the base, and then it, and then it just reappears instantly and falls back up to the surface after it goes under. It, it's just so weird. It makes no sense whatsoever. Um, I should add that the Dreamcast version of this fight, um, the lake bed looks a lot darker. Like, there isn't as much detailing at the bottom there. It just looks like it's really dark. Um, but on, on the GameCube version, you can see the bottom and stuff like that. It's a lot clearer water. It's not as murky. Um, so if you ever had the Dreamcast version and then you've seen this one, you definitely notice a difference. Uh, in my opinion, this version looks a lot better. Uh, it just looks a lot cleaner and nicer, it just has a nice effect to it. Um, though the, since you can see the lily pads, as I said before, it looks kind of weird, but whatever, this fight doesn't last very long anyway. Well, it's the third time I beat him! <sighs> Come on, Chaos 4, you're getting kind of boring though. Loading screen and cutscene and it's the egg carrier, who would have guessed? I mean, the Egg Carrier always pops up around the uh, Chaos 4. Actually, the Egg Carrier came up way, way at the beginning of this, uh, of Knuckles' side, Knuckles side of the story. Because it floated, uh, not floated, uh, flew by uh, Angel Island. So, uh, what's Eggman gonna say this time around the Knuckles' side of the story? Who knows? <laughs> Flying Fortress, not Flying Masterpiece. Hey, why didn't you say Adu? Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I've, I've been joking around about the um, the dialogue being different for each character, but I know how what the, the creators of the game intended. They wanted the... Uh, each character's story to be told through the eyes of that character. So that's why the dialogue is slightly different for, for each area. I mean, for each character. Well, I guess for each area, too. I guess I'm not too inaccurate when I said that there. Um, but basically, they, they wanted to also make it so it's not like you're hearing the same thing over and over and it's predictable. 
Um, so it's basically a two-for-one thing, which is why they change the dialogue. Now, where's the light bubble? Is it going to be there this time? Yes, it is! The trolley car seems to be working. All right, let's go to the jungle! Woo! Jungle Echidna! Plunk! And now we're going to be going and search for something. See this? You gotta grab one of these, and you gotta take it to the Lost Ruins over there. Or I should say the uh, Lost World over there. Um, you can, I, I didn't show this with Tails before, but as you've seen right there, I was able to walk right on top of the canopy of these woods here. So that's kind of silly, but uh, yeah. Oh wait, isn't the other key in here? I could have swore. Yeah, the other key is over here. I, I'll be back here later. Yeah, you gotta come back here flip the other key. But I'm just gonna go, pff, camera, camera, I gotta go deliver this to the Lost Ruins, and then come back there for the other key. Because I can't carry two at once, and then the positions will reset. Just like that monkey destruction switch. Yeah, that, that, those monkey, the monkey destruction switch is like the silliest thing ever in my opinion. I mean, a switch designed to destroy a monkey? Come on now. Anyway, gold statue gold, goes on the gold pedestal. And it just floats right into place like that, and that bubble says the exact same thing as the, the, the other one did, so you don't even have to hit that. But I did that just to point it out for the fun of it. And that voice that says that sure sounds familiar, doesn't it? Though I didn't want to go, don't go take the water path, that was silly of me. Um, I want to go and go around this way. I'm looking for that... no, not the ladder. It is this way, then. Looking for that rocky area, not Sand Hill. That was Tails' area. Ah, here we go. Knuckles' is digging area. Back over here, and give me that statue. And, oh, I got a whole load of rings and the statue. Yay! I don't know why they put rings over there as well as the statue. Or maybe they just, I just accidentally got lucky or something. Oh, actually, actually... Getting lucky is not an accident, uh, or some people would think, but uh, to me, I think luck is, uh, I mean, there's no such thing as if there's just an accident or something, I'm not, I'm just kind of rambling on. <laughs> and why did I go around the whole way, I don't know, because I know those uh, statue key slots are over here, but anyway, it's going to float, it's going to flop, flop into place, and this trapdoor is going to open! Well, at least it's gonna burn open, so to speak, and you just fall through there. You can even fall through there before that thing even opens up, and you can go right to the Lost World. And, whoops, I just noticed that I'm really low on time in this part, so I'm gonna find these three emeralds in the next part. See you then.